In the previous video, we were introduced to the concept of cells in MATLAB, which are similar to arrays. You put them in curly brackets, and you can give as many or different variable uh, names or types inside the, the cell. But the problem is that if it was supposed to mean something, it would be hard to uh, figure out what each of these variables mean in this cell. What, what is the meaning of this array? What is the meaning of this name? The true and I5. That's especially true if you want to practice object-oriented programming or OOP, where each of these values inside the cell are going to mean something. That's where structures become important in MATLAB. So I want to comment this line out and say A is equal to struct. I can actually not write this. It's not really important. If I run this, it's just going to create a one by one structure. And um, I can give different properties and different values to each property of this A struct. For example, I can say A dot name is equal to Matthew. A dot um, is cool is equal to true and um, yeah as many features or properties as I want I can give to this uh, let's actually make it a more meaningful thing let's call this car and remove these lines say car dot make is equal to um, Honda or actually brand is Honda and car dot make is equal to civic car that year is equal to 2017 car dot price is equal to, um, let's say, 10,000. But say if I do this, I have a car which has one struct. If I type car in here, it gives me those stuff. And I can say car dot brand gives me Honda. So you'll see this. But let's say this is actually something that a um, dealership or a company or something wants to uh, use in order to keep track of their inventory. How would I do that? Let me uh, comment this line out and I can say one and keep this one in here and copy all of these to create a second one. So car two brand is, let's say, Ford. Oh, I don't know much about Fords. So let's say Nissan Altima. Let's make this capital C. Year is um, 2015. And for the price, let's get 15,000. I'm not a dealer, so I don't know much about pricing. I'm just giving some numbers. For the third one, Um, we could say again another Honda, let's say Honda Accord year 2019 and the price is 35,000 for instance. I just uh, gave a number there and let's change all of these to three. If I run this, I have a one by three structure. so car gives me a one by three structure but doesn't give me anything about the brands the makes the year and the price so i can say car one dot name or brand so one of the cool things about uh, matlab here is that i don't know if i don't know exactly what's inside car as properties i can press tab and it will show me what i can pick 
So year, brand, make, and price. And they're all arranged alphabetically. Let's say brand and print it to say Honda. And I can say car two, Nissan. And let's say car two year gives me 2015. And I can use that and later if I want to type, if I want to print them in a certain format or um, do anything special with them, I can use them there. CLCV doesn't mean anything, CLC, I've cleared everything. So this is basically uh, the uh, thing about structures, which will help us with object-oriented programming. We can define a variable and it will have features or properties and each feature will have its own value. And then we can use that later. So um, this short video teaches about the structures and we'll be using them later as we progress into more sophisticated scripts.